Hi. In this tutorial we are going to do a step-by-step -step guide how create an application in the AAB format, developed for Android, using Kivi and a Linux operating system. The AAB format stands for Android App Bundle, and is a publishing format that includes all your app's compiled code and resources, and defers APK generation and signing to Google Play. Therefore, from now on, to upload an app to the Google Play Store, the app must be in AAB format. As you probably know, Kivi is an open-source Python language software library aimed at rapid application development. Kivi is cross-platform, running on Linux, Windows, OS X, Android, iOS, and Raspberry Pi. Therefore, you can run the same code on all supported platforms. This tutorial completes a previous tutorial, which was focused on the APK format. In order to accomplish this task, the first step is to install the Buildolzer tool. Buildolzer is a tool that automates the entire process of building the package for installation. It downloads and configures all prerequisites for Python for Android, including Android SDK and NDK, and then creates an APK that can be automatically uploaded to the device. However, in the case of the AAB format you need to install a special version of Buildolzer. To install Buildolzer in the appropriate version for the generation of the AAB format, clone the repository on GitHub, using the URI indicated here. Run the other commands indicated for a complete installation. After that, enter the Buildolzer directory and run the install command as shown. Now that the prerequisites have been met, Let's install the app. Go to the directory where your application is, and run the command. Buildolzer init. This command creates the buildolzer.spec file that contains the specifications for building the application. You must edit this file specifying the properties of your application. Let's list some properties of buildolzer.spec file. In the title option, the user defines the title of the application. Avoid long titles and special characters as problems can occur on some platforms. In the option package.name, the user defines the name of the application package. It's just a single word with ASCII characters and numbers. It cannot contain special characters. The package domain is a string that references the company or individual who made the application. The app name added to the domain is the app identifier for Android and iOS. Therefore, it must be chosen carefully. An example would be com.xyz. Another important property is the requirements. It's a list of the requirements the application needs to run. Shown here is an example of requirements. Another important property is the Android.permissions. It's a list of the permissions the application needs to run. In the example there is an indication that the app needs to access the internet. We also have Android.api and Android.sdk options. These options set the API and SDK versions that will be used by the application. API version 30 is mandatory in case of AAB generation. These specifications shown are also important in the case of generating the AAB format. If you wish, you can indicate APK format in place of AAB. The APK format is interesting for testing on a local device. To be able to upload the file, you must sign the generated file. Execute the displayed commands, in the application directory, substituting the key name, and alias with the ones of your choice. After that export the key name and alias. After this we are ready to build a release. 
Run this command below. Buildozer minus V Android release. You are now ready to upload the app to your Google Play Store developer account. This step will be detailed in another video. We have reached the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful. Click on the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this.